Now, what did the Republicans do? In their blueprint, voted on by 100% of the Republicans, this was their budget, sometimes called the Ryan Republican budget, every one of those things that we put in place to assist students in getting an education was dramatically and drastically reduced, while at the same time taking money away from students and handing that money to the oil industry and to the millionaires, the multimillionaires, the billionaires. Remember, a minimum tax reduction for millionaires of $392,000 a year, while at the same time taking money out of the pockets of students, increasing not just increasing, but doubling the interest rate on student loans from 3.4 to 6.8 percent, costing every student more than $1,000 a year in additional interest payments on their loans. That's the average. Now, those that are above average, that number is going to go much higher. Pell Grants, reducing the Pell Grants, eliminating from the opportunity to get a Pell Grant more than a million students over the next 10 years, nearly 400,000 students in the United States would be immediately see a reduction in their Pell Grants in the year ahead and 100,000 not being able to get a Pell Grant at all. This is economic fairness? I don't think so. This is wise economic policy? I don't think so. Giving to the wealthiest 1% in this country an enormous tax break and taking it directly out of the pockets of students is bad economic policy, it's bad policy for education, and it will not reignite the American dream. In fact, it will stifle that American dream, and we will not stand for that. We Democrats are rising up and saying, no, no, we're not going to do this. We're not going to give to the super wealthy, the billionaires and millionaires, while taking money away from the students of America. This is an important issue. This is not only an issue about economic fairness. This is an issue about growing the American economy. And we know where we stand. We stand for educating the workforce so that they can compete. Now, joining me is a gentleman from the great state of De Michigan, who uh, represents Detroit, who has been on this issue from his very first day here in Congress. Hanson Clark, I know you want to jump in, so have at it. 